Hello, my name is Sue Grant and today we're having a look at the Spirit 65 Deck House, Spirit of Josephine. And here she is, quite one of the most beautiful yachts that I have ever seen. She was first commissioned in 2021 and is seen here at Bertham having just um, had her maiden overnight voyage from the east coast to us here on the south coast of the UK. Wonderful white hull, which if you look really carefully, has just a hint of green, like the owl in the Pussycats yacht. Classic good looks. She has Sipo mahogany upper works with stainless steel, and here is her carbon rig, by hall spars. And she has this wonderful ligny teak deck. This is a softwood which has been impregnated and is hard, durable and very easy to keep. The staunchions, of course, can be removed, which make her look even more beautiful. And here is her stainless steel Danforth anchor. She's got a vertical windlass, very easy anchoring arrangements and with no complicated arm or anything. Flush hatches. Wonderful butterfly mahogany main saloon hatch and this elegant deck saloon, which doesn't intrude on the line at all. She's got nitronic rod rigging, and for her sails, she has 40, 40 recyclable sails by one sails. She's as carbon neutral as one can get, and the owner has paid enormous attention to making her as planet friendly as possible. She's powered by a pair of Oceanvolt SD-15s with servoprop propulsion. So she can make power whilst running and be carbon neutral. Lovely mahogany covered wheel and pedestal. You see the controls for the Oceanvolt lovely cockpit table and the access to the machine room is also found in the cockpit and we will have a look at that a bit later. Incredibly light on the helm, she's a joy to sail and sails as well as she looks, as if she might. The varnish work is all executed in all wood and now we're coming into her deck saloon lovely light and airy place really good vision and of course the upholstery is very special it's uh, from tetrad it's harris tweed with galveston bark leather and you see these wonderful arrangement so that the light floods in and you can watch keep from this lovely snug area in open seas. There's a little trotter box there for when you are at sea. Um, obviously she's CE approved and all of that stuff. It's a lovely connection between the cockpit and the deck saloon. See this very funky chair which is fashioned on an Aston Martin DB5 chair and was handmade by Spirit. And then we go down into the most extraordinary main saloon, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Okay, so here we are in the main saloon. 
sunlight is a photographer's enemy, so we've blacked her out so that you can see properly the yacht. Bear in mind that in the normal way she's flooded with light from the butterfly hatches, but these are all now covered. This is an extraordinary main saloon. You see these Chesterfield armchairs by Tetrad. You can there see the bare construction of the yacht. She has laminated ring frames. She has epoxy composite construction on the top sides. And you can see you've actually got the feet of the chairs which are reproduced beautifully. Now this is one of my favourite things. If you look here, this is the crockery for Spirit of Josephine. Curious animals by Wedgwood. Not just made to fit, but beautifully fabricated and crafted so that this is a piece of art. I've asked Harry to open this one up for you because this teapot is just epic. And then further down, again, usable, practical, and totally beautiful. All in walnut. Here is the breakfast bar, which is in zinc. It's intended to weather, and it started to do so beautifully. Lovely galley, barista coffee machine, mealy gimbaled four burner stove, Fisher and Paykel dishwasher, and lots of storage. Of course, you have to be able to grind the coffee beans as well. There's also an extractor for the cooker and this beautiful double sink. Those little screw holes further forward are for a fiddle, just to make things easier when at sea. Nice big fridge freezer. She also has a fridge, and this is a very useful galley. Look at these gorgeous barstools. Again, handmade by Spirit. They are very clever people. This is just a wonderful place to be if you're looking for a conventional saloon with much seating and stuff like that. This is not the yacht for you. Epic lights. She's all LED. And there's that butterfly hatch, all covered. Now aft, she has a lovely double guest cabin. These mattresses are natural mat. They're split, so they can be lee clothed. And then this flips out, cupboard above opens with a vanity mirror so that you sit on the bed and make up. a very useful and well-appointed upper and lower berth cabin with plenty of storage. Same natural mat, electronic readout, lovely clean white deck heads, and then the aft heads. Electric loo, fresh water. The basin is far too cool for school. It's from the London Basin Company and is a thing of beauty. What we don't show you is a fitted shower in the deck head from which wonderful warm water floods down. Look at that. Every part of this yacht is handmade and crafted. There's the rig and we're coming into the owner's stateroom. with the same wonderful leather bedhead, natural mat, good storage. And you can see the bones of spirit here. And there is a frame TV, the only concession to modern technology. There are USB ports and all that sort of stuff fitted throughout. 
but she is simply not for watching TV at board. Look at this, handmade and beautiful. Another heads compartment, another epic sink, another amazing shower. Practical storage in here as well. Form, function and beauty all together. I just love this main saloon and those chairs are without doubt the most comfortable I have ever sat in. The strengthening and construction details are there for all to see. Beautiful laminated frames. There is carbon inserted at points of high stress. And she has been built for long voyages in comfort and without effort. This is just a marvellous place to be and spend time in. And fits perfectly with the concept of the rest of the boat. Just walking past her sea zone controls and back into the cockpit. Okay, so we're now seeing Spirit wearing her covers. These covers are Sombrella by One Sails, same guys that made uh, her sails. And everything um, that is bright is covered. The really great news about this yacht is that she has been set up to be practical and easy to maintain. The mahogany is all treated with all wood from all grip, and it has a life of 10 years. So it's not a question of getting the varnish brush out every two minutes. The ligny is indestructible, and so with some care, Spirit will be looking as good as she does today in 10 years' time, and she'll be turning just as many heads. Now we're going to have a look at the business end of her. This, as I mentioned before, is the machinery space. Can you please just look at the beautiful block on the left for the gas strut? Everything on this boat is engineered to an extraordinary degree of care. Beautifully made. Here is her electrical system. Here is her Victron charging system and then we're looking aft into one of her two cockpit lockers. Steering here is Jeffa. Immaculate bilges. And then here's the Fisher Panda. That's 48 volt. And Webasto heating system. She has a Webasto reverse cycle, waterborne air conditioning and a separated diesel heater. Look at that fantastic detailing under the boom, which takes a bimini that comes straight out of it. It's just a thing of beauty. And now let's have a look at these cockpit lockers. Here is a compressor, a couple of dive bottles, and loads of room for stuff. You see the access door opened on that side. And on the other side, is uh, all sorts of stuff to do with uh, Spirit of Josephine. Having the extra two feet over the 63 gives her that space and also that beautiful line aft. Spirit of Josephine, Spirit 65 DH. Do come and have a look at her at Bertha.